Hi everybody, good evening. MC Tamarasan here, event anchor, MC trainer, and founder of Chennai Event MCs and co-founder of Chennai Event Entertainers. So, uh, thank you so much for your continuous support. I think today is 89th day of my Facebook Live, consistently 89th day. That is, I didn't have uh, even a single day break in between. And this is one of the toughest commitments or one of the uh, commitments what I have met, I can say, continuously for 89 days without breaking the life. Whether I'm at home or whether I'm at an event, I've been continuously doing this live. Thank you everyone for your continuous support. Special thanks to my mentor, Dr. Marja Sivasubramanian and Marisa, who helped me start this Facebook Live Challenge and my business partner and co-host Nandri, who joined me in starting this Facebook Live Challenge. Thank you everyone who have been continuously extending your support. Uh, your support has made me do it regularly. I've been doing it every day. I mean, sometimes I've done the live at 11.50 p.m., 11.55, just before the clock strike 12, I wanted to do the live. So thank you once again, everyone, for the continuous support and today's topic. And before I go to today's topic, I would like to extend my thanks to dancer Rupali, who took me to a preschool today where she introduced me to the franchisee owner. And I had around one and a half hours talk with him. With him. Uh, that's the result of this live. Though this is one of my topics, to-do topics, I added in my uh, to-do list. Uh, since I had a talk with him today, I wanted to do the live immediately so that Whatever we discuss, it comes to, uh, I can uh, immediately put it in uh, video so that it can be later transcribed or it can be shared with other people who will be uh, getting benefited out of this video. Okay, with that note, having uh, thanked everyone who has been supporting this uh, live on the course. Uh, let's get into today's topic, event anchoring and event planning for annual days of schools, preschools, play schools, art schools, entertainment schools. What are the things to be considered and what are the challenges faced when planning for annual day activities for the above schools? Okay, uh, recent times, not only recent times, uh, for the last three, four years, in, in fact, to be very honest, uh, the way how I got uh, groomed as MC is because of our group clusters. And yes, I would like to thank my uh, MC teacher, uh, Monisha and Manoj, uh, because of whom I am what I am today in the event industry. Uh, they are the uh, one, uh, they are the ones who helped me start my MC career and the VJ career. And that's where the only at Art Robe I learned MCing and I have been, always have been there in any of the Art Robe's event and that's how I learned MCing. So Art Robe's uh, cluster was the first uh, bigger event where I learned a lot. I started working on the scripting part. I was working for almost one month along with my course and co-trainee Prasidha Tyagarajan. And that was a lovely journey where, where I learned a lot in hosting an annual day of an arts and entertainment school. So Art Robe is called as uh, arts and entertainment school. And there are a lot of the schools where I'm associated, where I've been doing a lot of activities, apartments, activities, school, annual days. Uh, like recently we did for Yard Academy of Music. Uh, my friend uh, Sai Sadish uh, uh, Music Academy. We hosted last year myself and Nandini. Again this year we hosted myself, Nandini, and our trainees Sumana and uh, Saran. Uh, we did it for the second year. And we have been uh, hosting annual days of a lot of the schools as well for ID International School, Thamburam. And we have been doing apartments activity for Minerva Montessori, Aray Sunshine uh, at uh, Mogape and few other schools. So our association with schools doesn't stop and uh, we have been always supporting any of the schools, Montessori's play schools or preschools. So what are the marketing knowledge I have? What are the marketing knowledge I've got from my mentor, Dr. Maharaja? I share it with the school's founders or the chairmen or who are the in charge of those schools. In fact, recently for Billabong High International School at Tirtani, we hosted a marathon. Uh, that was the first marathon that I held at, uh, that was held at Tirutani and uh, we also gave them a lot of ideas in terms of the preparation like we suggested them to have drums and in, uh, in fact there was a huge hit I would say uh, using drums marathon. Uh, thanks to Udaya and Jagan who have joined us uh, in that course, beautiful course. Having said that, uh, let me get away, get uh, straight away to the topic, event anchoring and event planning for annual days of school. So I'm not going to talk about other activities or the promotional activities of these schools. Uh, which I will be discussing in a later video, another live, where I can share my experience, I can share my inputs about how you can promote a play school or a preschool, what are the ways you can do that. This video is going to focus mainly on the annual days. As I said, uh, I hosted two annual days of Art Drop, that is clusters, uh, last year we did it, and uh, three years back I hosted along with Presidha, and we hosted the annual days of Yard Music Ac uh, Academy in the last two years and a lot of their annual days. So out of those experience, I'm going to share what usually happens in an annual day. So when you plan for your school's annual day, uh, please plan it uh, one or two months before so that uh, you give uh, ample time for the students to practice, whether it's a play school, preschool, or arts and entertainment school, after school activities, whatever. If the children, they are going to perform on stage, definitely they need a lot of practice. 
they may do well in class, but when they get on the stage, they may get panicky, especially small, small kids. Uh, when they come for dance, in fact, yes, I was at a couple of events for little millennium schools as well. Uh, that's what I have seen. Uh, when, when toddlers, they come on stage, uh, sometimes they don't perform. Uh, when, I have shared this in one of my live videos as well earlier. When I did a live with my niece, Shanmali Sai, I was explaining what happens when the kids come to a mall activity or when the kids come for a stage activity. So you need to give them enough uh, practice and preparation so that uh, uh, they perform better on stage. So plan at least two months before. Uh, a circulate and uh, send the circular that you are going, you are planning for an annual day. What are the things uh, that's needed for the annual day? What are the teams can participate? For example, if it's an arts and entertainment school, dance, music, guitar, uh, uh, vocal, uh, Western dance, uh, classical dance, all these things can be used. And uh, when it comes for drawing, uh, most of the time drawing uh, skill cannot be used on stage. So you need to plan something like my mentor, uh, my uh, trainer Monisha beautifully she plans. Uh, she uh, she uh, has something called as pre-clusters where she has this art exhibition, she conduct the drawing competition and a lot of the competitions which cannot be brought on stage. So you need to plan accordingly based on what all the skills you have, what all the courses you have in your institute. Accordingly, you need to plan. If something is getting missed, you need to have some pre-events so that you encourage such kids also. That's the first thing when you come for the preparation. And secondly, uh, you need a venue. Uh, you should have a good venue. Or sometimes you may need an AC hall. Sometimes based on your budget, based on the parents and the kids, you can go for the venue. Most of the arts and entertainment school, they prefer AC hall because uh, the event is going to be at least for two to three hours. So uh, children, they shouldn't get suffocated. So they prefer usually AC hall. Uh, that second thing, which one are uh, the venue you need to finalize and then you need to decide the capacity of the hall, how much people you are going to invite, what will be the capacity of the hall. For example, if you have 50 kids in your school, uh, you need to plan every kid will come with their parents, uh, father and mother and probably one more sibling of them. So at least you should plan for two uh, two persons along with the kids. So in case you are giving a, a ticket for the event, uh, whether it's a, a paid one or free one, a lot of insurance they charge from the parents so that they can meet the experts. And some of the institutes, they, they put uh, they put money from their pocket, they don't charge from the parents. Whatever you do, when you give a ticket, it should be for three persons. One for the participant, that is for the kid, and two for the parents. If needed, maybe that's your choice. Uh, you can give an additional ticket for a sibling. And any other additional ticket, probably they can pay and get it. Uh, because uh, you should know an uh, approximate count uh, so that you can accommodate them in their hall. For example, if you take music academy, if you take Russian culture, if you take Rani City Hall, every hall differs. Uh, the capacity differs, so you need to plan it accordingly. You need to uh, circulate uh, the information that you are going to have the, have the annual day to all the kids and the parents. Second, you need to fix the venue. Third, you need to fix how much people you are going to invite. And uh, you need to start, I guess, start giving the practice. The concerned teachers, they, they need to start the practice and they need to prepare the slot. The final agenda can be um, discussed or finalized one or ten days, one week or ten days before the event. But before that, all the teams should be ready. For example, if you have a vocal class, if you have a Carnatic singing class, there could be some two, three teams. One person may be singing solo, one or uh, two persons may be singing together or a group or two groups. So you need to decide how many teams or how many performances are going to be there from each uh, uh, course. If it's going to be singing, how many batches are going to be there? If it's a dance, how many batches are there? How many solo dance, how many group dance? So all these things, all the teachers, you have to cooperate, especially teachers, you have to cooperate and you have to give the entire list to your the chairman, MD or founder, whoever is in charge of the uh, institute. So that once they get all these things, they will plan, they will plan the agenda. Usually any event starts with a traditional dance or classical singing, although it's not a hard and fast rule. So based on that, uh, they will be preparing the schedule. Like uh, if it's an annual day, not only for performance of the kid, you can also have uh, competition sometime. You can call some external persons also. There are two ways. One is only for your own children, that is your institute children. Sometimes you can invite other outside uh, school children also. Uh, so you need to decide that. And you can call the chief guest. A chief guest can be a celebrity from the cinema industry or someone from the music industry or someone from education industry, politics, based on your taste, based on the children's taste and based on your principle. For example, when I host a YAR Academy, Sai Sadish is a person who always gives importance to uh, music field. So he invites his uh, music college principals, teachers, uh, all those people. So you need to decide whom you are going to invite, but definitely there should be some persons who is going to be the chief guest or who is going to be judge for the event, uh, apart from uh, whoever the faculties from your institute. So these are the basic preparations. So once all these things are done, you need to prepare the invite and the agenda. Invite, yes, all the chief guests and what are, what are the main agenda are going to be there. And the agenda should be the run order or the agenda. It should be minute by minute. Like uh, usually annual days start by evening, like five o'clock or six o'clock and it goes till eight or nine. 
So six to eight would be the ideal time. I would say that would be the peak time. So plan accordingly. Always have a work plan. That is, uh, uh, if you are planning for two hours, definitely uh, the program would stretch for two and a half or three hours. So uh, never have a crunchy deadline. For example, if you plan for six to eight session, then your agenda should be for six to seven thirty. So then, even if it stretches, it goes till eight or eight fifteen. If if you reveal uh, if you if you say if your invite says that it's six to eight pm, but if your agenda is already tight packed from six to eight or six to eight thirty, then definitely parents will be very restless after eight. They they want to leave once the uh, kids' performance is over. They would like to leave. But your ultimate purpose should be the entire program, entire set of people should be there. So plan accordingly. Have a clear plan and go ahead with the plan. I will come to an important topic, which is the event management MCs, uh, whose presence is very much needed for this planning. First, uh, before I reveal that, uh, before I announce those information, I will, uh, I'm uh, just giving tips for all the founders or the chairman or MP of any of the preschools. So these are the things you should consider. So I have a minute by minute agenda like uh, six o'clock, uh, the, the MC introduction, anchor introduction, six to six five, six five to six ten, welcome note, six ten to six fifteen, uh, guest speech, six fifteen to six twenty, classical dance. 6:20 to 6:25 Western dance. 6:25 to 6:30 or 6:25 to 6:35. Um, what's that? Uh, skit. Uh, like which you can go by 7 to 7:15 break. So you should have uh, so and so per packa agenda, which should be a uh, minute by minute agenda. So that from 6 to 8, you should have a clear agenda. This is one thing. A lot of preschool or the play schools, uh, they fail when they plan the agenda or when they execute it. What they think is, whatever I plan, sometimes uh, most of the time it's not happening because. Now, uh, when when it comes on stage, uh, kids they don't get ready so easily. Sometimes classical dance they may take some more time. Western dance they may take some more time. One person will be classical dance and also in the Western dance they need to go change the dress and come back. So there will be delay in um, getting the dress change or sometimes the delay uh, if uh, if the chief guest is coming late. So MC is the one who's I I've written in a lot of my articles. MC is the one who's a savior in that situation. MC knows very well an experienced MC or uh, well. Uh, well, uh, talented MC knows how to stretch an event or how to cut short an event. So, if you tell an MC that you have some more time, you can engage the audience until we are uh, ready. Definitely, MC would engage. For example, for the Art Academy of Music Annual Day, myself Nandini, along with Sumana and Sarat, we did tumble for the uh, parents. Last year, we had a couple of game activities for the kids and the parents. This time, we started with tumble, and then we did have some more games for the uh, students or the kids. And then uh, once the program started, in between again you will have some time where they need to set up the guitar or the musical instrument five or ten minutes. Again, those time we can engage the audience. So, and uh, well talented anchor, uh, a well talented anchor will definitely know how to engage audience, uh, when to engage, what, how to engage, and what to ask them and what not to ask them. So this is how you prepare the uh, run order. You prepare the agenda, and um, like uh, whenever there is a change, as I said, the theoretical agenda is there. And when it comes for practical execution, there will be a lot of challenge. There will be a lot of change in the order. The classical team is not ready. Guest is not ready. And uh, the founder or the in charge, you need to keep informing the anchor about the changes so that they can uh, fill in the gap. They can um, engage the audience accordingly. So this is where an anchor support is needed. Now I'm coming to the event management part. I think I've given you enough information for the preschool founders or the in charges how to plan the event. Once again, I will sum it up first. Plan it well before the time, at least two or three months before. Inform it to the team, to the kids, teachers, and their parents, and divide them into group. For each courses, they said how many performers are going to be there. Fix the venue, good venue, uh, preferably AC all if needed, and uh, decide accommodation. I mean, how many chairs are going to be there, how many people are going to invite, whether it's a ticketed one or non-ticketed one. If you are going to have stall activities like cakes, uh, food active, food stalls, game stalls, all the, all these things you need to decide, and then. You need to prepare the agenda. All the teachers they have to give you uh, give you what all the sequences, what all the number of performances they have for the team, and you need to prepare the agenda, rough agenda first, and then that can be refined day after day. This is the main preparation process. Now coming to the execution part, when it comes for execution, sometimes chief guests may be late, sometimes kids may uh, get ready late. All these things may happen. So accordingly, you need to keep shuffling the agenda. You need to keep shuffling the performances. Where definitely any of the well talented anchors they will be able to support you. Now coming to the event management part. Before I go to event management part, I'd like to take a 15 to 30 seconds break, where I wanted to share this live video to a couple of groups or a couple of Facebook pages. In the meantime, if you like to ask me some questions or if you like to share your opinion or feedback, feel free to add. Tamil Sun Bro, Tamil Sunna, Yengla Madhi School, Ona School, Konjam Puriyum. Definitely King Street, because since I'm talking, sir, okay, idhar na Tamil le suli re, idhar kaga na idhar live full English le panna actually. எல்லா லைவ்மே நான் இங்கிலீஷ் தமிழ் கலந்து தான் பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தேன் இந்த லைவ் பர்டிகுலரா இங்கிலீஷ்ல பண்ண காரணம்
இது வந்து ப்ரீ ஸ்கூல் ப்ளே ஸ்கூல் போது நிறைய பேர் வந்து இங்கிலீஷ் மீடியம்ல ஒரு இங்கிலீஷ் லெவல்ல தான் மெயின்டைன் பண்றாங்க ஸோ அவங்களுக்கு ரீச் ஆகணும் அப்படின்றதுக்காக தான் இது இங்கிலீஷ்ல நான் பண்ணிட்டுருக்கேன் இட்ஸ் நாட் ஒன்லி ஃபார் சென்னை ஆடியன்ஸ் ஆல் இண்டியா ஆடியன்ஸ் லெவல்ல வந்து இது வந்து ப்ரீ ஸ்கூல் ப்ளே ஸ்கூல் ஃபார்ம் டெஸ்க் வந்து நான் அதை ஷேர் பண்ண போறேன் அண்ட் டெஃபினெட்லி இந்த லைவ் வந்து நான் திரும்ப தமிழ்ல பண்றேன் இல்லை நான் வந்து இதை டிரான்ஸ்லேட் பண்றேன் டெஃபினட்டா கண்டிப்பா நான் அதை பண்ணுவோம் ப்ரூ ஏன்னா நல்லாவே தெரியும் நிறைய லைவ் நான் ஃபுல் இங்கிலீஷ்ல பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தேன் அது வந்து நம்ம ஆளுங்களுக்கு சப்போர்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்காக தமிழ்ல பண்ணேன் பட் இந்த டாபிக் இட் ஹேஸ் டு ரீச் தி கன்சர்ன் பீப்புள் அதனால ஃபுல் இங்கிலீஷ்ல பண்றேன் கண்டிப்பா வந்து தமிழ் சம்மந்தே இல்ல நான் அதை டிரான்ஸ்லேட் பண்ணி கூட கொடுக்குறேன் ஓகே ஓகே நான் கெட்டிங் பேக் டு டாபிக் அகைன் அண்ட் எஸ் பீப்பிள் யூ கேன் ஷேர் யுவர் ஃபீட்பேக் யுவர் ஒபீனியன் அவர் யுவர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் மீன் டைம் ஆர் பி ஷேரிங் திஸ் லைவ் அண்ட் கப்பிள் ஆஃப் குரூப்ஸ் அண்ட் மை பேஜஸ் தேங்க் யூ ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஒன்ஸ் எக்ஸ்டென்ட் சப்போர்ட் வில் கண்டினியூஸ்லி வாட்சிங் மை லைவ் ரெகுலர்லி லாட் ஆஃப் ஆடியன்ஸ் அதே வில் வாட்சிங் ரெகுலர்லி உங்களுடைய சப்போர்ட் தான் கண்டிப்பா நான் வந்து ரெகுலராக இதை பண்ண வச்சுட்டு இருக்கு Okay, uh, let me tell you what I am doing. This is what my mentor Dr. Mahar has taught me recently also. If you are doing live, that will be really helpful if you share the live. So, don't hesitate to ask your friends to share the live. Uh, tell them that when you are doing live, ask them to share it. So, that uh, it will reach a lot of people because we are doing some good cause. We are educating people. Uh, that's why we are doing this. So, that uh, it will reach a lot of people because we are doing some good cause. We are educating people. We are bringing awareness. So, definitely we shouldn't hesitate to share all this stuff to people. So, please do... please feel free to share all these things on your wall you can share on certain uh, event related groups school related groups so that people get benefited any of the topic not only my love any live if you see if you see someone talking sensible uh, which you find it useful please do share it and help them get more views and also help the target audience get such information so that will be definitely helpful for them as well okay i shared it in my page company page chennai event times and i am sharing it to one of the important events group that is chennai mcs and i am going to share it to my own page mc tamil uh, i have told you the reason why while doing the live itself when we share it will definitely reach uh, more number of people and uh, definitely that will help me help people that's what i learned from my mentor dr maharaja uh, you should help me so that i can help others uh, definitely uh, that's possible and i, I agree to that coach okay though i said that i'm going to take a break for 15 30 seconds i've been continuously talking but that's okay uh, let me share in just one or two more groups that's one bad bad habit with me that i don't want to maintain silence at all uh, any time any point of time i always keep talking if i leave a half minute break i feel that uh, i i'm uh, disconnected from the audience but i think i should learn that skill as well i'm little weak in that uh, giving a pause or at least i'm speaking in a little asking voice now uh, if, uh, reduce my pitch or the tone or whatever see sir not gajendra don't kill solikar edukaga english la pesadhu solikar enna thella but chenni enna sonnal okay ji adinna konja puriyira maari sonninga i'll be really happy idha enna thappu da correct panikalam illa neenga thappa konja pikinga appadina i place i can explain to you okay now or three groups la share panirukken now let me continue with the live okay now coming to the event management part uh when we say i have explained you what are the things as a founder or the uh, md or the chairman of the play school you need to think of now what is the role an event anchor or an event manager plays uh being an event anchor uh, having hosted a lot of uh, school activities uh, i am just going to share my experience here the first thing although the theoretical agenda is ready uh, during the practical execution definitely there will be a lot of challenges as i was keep on telling that uh, there will be delay from the chief guest side there will be delay from kids kid already kids may cry there may be rain so people are arriving late so anything happens mc you have to coordinate with anchor mc or whatever the name i call or whatever the name you call mc anchor master of ceremony stage host whatever you call they are the one who are taking the show from the, taking the show in a smooth way from the start to the end so keep coordinating with the organizer and ask them what are the changes i have the script ready with you i have the agenda ready with you tell them that uh, you are going with this unless they come and tell you if there is uh, any change you are going in the same order do that and second thing always get at least two or three um, performances before for example sometimes the organizer will say oh, go and start i'll say that what's next don't do that at least get them one or two things at least they should be ready with first or second performance get it so once you give the intro talk once you do the ice breakers all these things uh, uh, welcome the first uh, set of the performers and also once that's over be ready to invite the second set of performer in the meantime the organizer they need to sort out all the issue and they should be ready with the third and fourth performance so my request for the organizers would be don't put the mcs in such a trouble that um, for every minute or every performance they have to come and fall in your feet to get what is next at least give them two to three years though you are giving the theoretical agenda when there is a change 
at least make sure that you have at least next two or three set of performances ready. I don't think so. That's a tough tough job for you. Uh, definitely, you should be uh, well prepared to have at least next two three uh, performances ready. So that we can tell the MC, for example, uh, first we do the classical dance, then the solo singing, then western dance. Okay, after that I will check and let you know. Now what happens after the welcome uh, welcome speech or the intro, the icebreaker? MC, uh, I would uh, directly welcome a classical dance. Once the classical dance is over, then I will invite solo. In the meantime, once the organizers, because it's going to be, uh, it's going to take 10 or 15 minutes there. So in the meantime, organizer would have sorted out the fourth and fifth performance. They can come and give it to the MC. So this is the way you need to do. And one beautiful thing, what I do, Chennai event MCs, we keep doing is we always go as two MCs because we don't want any lag on the stage, even for birthday parties or any events. Mostly, I suggest two MCs because. One MC can handle the stage, especially when such events happen, school events happen. I definitely know a lot of challenges are there. So I always go with two MCs, whether they invite or not. One MC can fill in the stage. When there is a lag, one MC will be talking from the stage. They will be engaging the audience. And the other MC goes to the organizer, get things clarified, get the details and bring it to MC. So you can plan this as well. Any of you, if you are hosting as a single MC, if you have anyone supporting you, you can take him, get, take him or with you. So that anywhere the event doesn't break or even flow doesn't break, I can say there cannot be any lag at all. So whenever there is two and there are two MCs, one of the MCs, please keep coordinating with the coordinator. That's what I do. Most of my events when I go, I take care of the technical stuff like mic, uh, laptop arrangement, uh, playing songs, all those things. And most of the time, Nandini would be on stage. I will ask her to take care of the stage and I'll collect the details from the organizer. In some of the events, I will ask her to coordinate with the organizer. I'll be filling in the stage and she will get all the information, bring it to us. So that's how we need to work on when you work as two MCs and when you work on such a school events or annual events where definitely a lot of mess are going to happen. So this is one important strategy you need to follow without any lag you need to take the event and uh, MCs uh, having uh, had uh, so much of experience they can help the organizers plan the agenda. For example I send the sample agenda to the organizers what are the previous events I hosted previous agenda what I have prepared because when I say the minute by minute agenda they don't understand. I can send them the sample agenda, then they get a clarity that, oh, this is how I need to prepare. At least they take, they put some effort to prepare that. Or else until uh, I send those Excel to them, they don't even touch the pen and paper or they don't even put it on Excel. Only after I send, uh, send it to them, they understand that, yes, these guys are well prepared. Uh, they, they want to plan it well ahead. So definitely we'll also put some work from our side and they also plan from their side. That will definitely help us to have a wonderful event without any uh, confusion or without any lag there because ultimately we need to have a wonderful event. We need to give a great experience to the kids and the parents, uh, not just for namesake. You need to conduct an event. So everything should be well planned. When you take the help of the event MC or the organizer, definitely they are going to help you out of their experience. They would suggest you a lot of plans, how to prepare the agenda, what to bring in first, what to bring in next. For example, when they say group dance, solo dance, we are the first person we ask itself. Is anyone who is in the group dance uh, are going to perform the solo dance or the one who is going to perform solo dance is he or she in the group dance that's going to happen before. If that's the case, definitely I can't put those two things back to back because after finishing one dance, definitely most of them, they may not have energy to perform the solo dance. So these are the things that we prove out of our experience. We, we sit with them and we explain them. So responsible MCs uh, definitely please uh, extend your support to the organizers when they uh, plan such things. Definitely school events. They have a lot of confusion because when you handle kids, it's really a tough job. It's not an easy task. So definitely event organizers and MCs, we should have the courtesy to support the uh, school people, help them have a wonderful event. So with that, I would like to wind up this live. I think I have covered almost everything. If you still have any questions or if you have any questions based on this live, please feel free to leave it as a comment here or you can ping me on my mobile number 984 -00 and my website www.chennaieventmcs.com and our recent website www.chennaievententertainers.com uh, Thank you so much Supari Devi for your comment. Okay, now let me read out the comments. What are the comments have come here? King Sik bro, you Tamil 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 Nadu, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Bro, Facebook is Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, bro, we are trying to reach Facebook, we are trying to reach our international level. Reach for try uh, sorry, I have told you that I have told you that I have now, Pala Yon Club Pandra Abdina Bodundu, now the English of Tamil Panapodia all. And I know even the path of the Naribitian corporate event in Nalusiri, now Tamil Panuva, Ya Abdina, and the audience support the audience Kenneth Avio, other Purka. And the audience full English audience are coming English some comfortable, not English upon where Ilang with Tamil Yan another comfortable, not Tamil upon the management get a permission market. So Apri Patal Nan, audience of Pulsa Purjit Pandra. So if I have been like Pandra Abdina, you have been like Chennai audience Kaga, Matum Kareda, the usage of Punjanga. Sila Natalas, a topic number regional audience, Kavan Nadakum. 
மற்ற டாபிக் ஜென்ரலான டாபிக் அப்படி இருக்குன்னும் போது நான் வந்து இதை இங்கிலீஷ்ல பண்ணிட்டேன் அப்படின்னா இது வந்து நமக்காக மட்டும் இதை பொத்தி பொத்தி வைக்காம உலகளாவே இன்னும் பல பேருக்கு வந்து யூஸ்ஃபுல்லா இருக்கும் லாட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் உட் கெட் பெனிஃபிட் ஸோ நம்ம அந்த ஒரு குறுகிய மனப்பான்மை வந்து கொஞ்சம் வெளியே ஓப்பன் ஆகும் நிறைய பேருக்கு இது பெனிஃபிட் ஆகட்டும் அப்படின்ற ஒரு எண்ணத்தோட சத்தியமா சொல்றேன் இந்த வீடியோ பாக்குற யாருமே வந்து என்னோட இங்கிலீஷ் புரியலன்னு சொல்லவே சொல்லாதீங்க எல்லாருக்குமே இங்கிலீஷ் தெரியும் இங்கிலீஷ் தெரியாம யாருமே பேஸ்புக்ல கிடையாது 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 நல்லாவே எனக்கு தெரியும் சும்மானா வந்து இங்கிலீஷ்ல பேசுறாங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு வந்து இங்கிலீஷ்ல பேசுறவங்க பீட்டர் முடிவு பண்ணாம அதுல நமக்கு என்ன மெசேஜ் எடுக்க முடியும் அப்படின்னு பார்ப்போம் டெஃபினட்டா நான் இங்கிலீஷ்ல பேச எல்லா வீடியோக்குமே வந்து எனக்கு டிரான்ஸ்லேட் பை டிரான்ஸ்லேட் பண்ணி அது இங்கிலீஷ்ல டெக்ஸ்டாகவும் இல்ல தமிழ்ல வீடியோவும் நடக்கும் கண்டிப்பா ஸோ ஒன்னு அது வரைக்கும் பொறுத்து இருந்து நீங்க பாக்கலாம் இல்ல வந்து யாரோட ஹெல்ப் எடுத்தும் பண்ணலாம் தவிர நம்ம வந்து ஒரு சில கொஞ்சம் பேருக்காக வந்து நம்ம வந்து பாக்குற மத்த ஆடியன்ஸ் வந்து நம்ம ரிசிக் பண்ண வேண்டாம் எஸ்பெஷலி இந்த மாதிரி முக்கியமான டாபிக் பண்ணும்போது ஏன்னா பிளே ஸ்கூல் ஃப்ரீ ஸ்கூல் என்பது சாதாரண விஷயம் கிடையாது ஒரு குழந்தைங்களை வச்சு நம்ம விளையாடுற விஷயம் ஸோ இந்த விஷயம் வந்து உலகளாவிய வந்து யார் யார் பிளான் பண்றாங்களோ அதுக்காக ஒரு எக்ஸ்பர்ட் எல்லாருக்கும் நான் அட்வைஸ் பண்ணது கிடையாது எனக்கு தெரிஞ்ச விஷயத்தை நான் ஷேர் பண்றேன் லைக் த பீப்புள் லேர்ன் அவுட் ஆஃப் இட் இந்தியா லெவல் யாராவது பாக்குறாங்களா இது டெல்லியில இருக்க ஒரு பிளே ஸ்கூல் பாக்குறாங்களா பார்த்து அவங்க பெனிஃபிட் அடையட்டும் சந்தோஷம் எனக்கு அது மூலமா அவங்க அதை அடைஞ்சு அவங்க வந்து ஒரு நல்ல இவெண்ட் ஆர்கனைஸ் பண்ணி அந்த குழந்தைகளுக்கும் பேரண்ட்ஸ்க்கும் வந்து ஒரு நல்ல விஷயம் பண்ணி தராங்க அதுக்காக நம்ம சென்னையில இருக்கவங்களுக்கு வந்து இந்த மெசேஜ் போடுறாங்க கண்டிப்பா ஒரு நைன்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் நான் பேசுறேன் இங்கிலீஷ் சிம்பிள் இங்கிலீஷ் தான் நான் பேசுறேன் ஆக்சன் போட்டு பேசவும் தெரியாது பேசுறதும் கிடையாது அதையும் தாண்டி நான் தமிழ்ல நான் பண்ணி தரேன் ஃபியூச்சர்ல சோ பிளீஸ் அட்ஜஸ்ட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க நான் தமிழ்ல ஐ மீன் ஃபுல் இங்கிலீஷ்ல வீடியோஸ் பண்ணும்போது அப்படி இல்லை இன்னும் யாருக்காவது வந்து கண்டிப்பா ரொம்ப சீக்கிரமா தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும்னா தயவு செஞ்சு எனக்கு ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுங்க நான் பண்ற வீடியோஸ் வந்து டிரான்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்றதுக்கு ஆல் ரெடி பண்ணி கொடுங்க எனக்கு என்னோட ட்ரைனிங் சொல்ற காலத்துல பண்ணிருந்தாங்க இப்ப எல்லாருமே பிஸியா இருக்காங்க நானும் நிறைய வீடியோஸ் கொடுக்கறது இல்லை ஸோ இந்த வீடியோஸ் எல்லாமே டிரான்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்றதுக்கு எனக்கு ஆள் தேவை யார் வேணாலும் தாராளமா அதெல்லாம் டிரான்ஸ்கிரைப் எப்படி பண்றதுன்னு சொல்லி தரேன் டிரான்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணா அது கண்டிப்பா இன்னும் நிறைய பேருக்கு வந்து பெனிஃபிட் ஆகும் ஸோ வித் ஐ லைக் டு வைண்ட் அப் திஸ் லைஃப் திஸ் பியூட்டிஃபுல் லைஃப் தேங்க் யூ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹவ் கிவன் மீ திஸ் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு ஷேர் மை எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் ஸ்பெஷல் தேங்க்ஸ் டு ரூபா Uh, who has introduced me to the uh, franchise owner of the preschool franchise owner mr yogananda avaru kuda pesumbo nare vishayangala nee kattukitta parent psychology teacher psychology avaru mentality enna solittu enakku therinja vishayangala share pannikitta he said that okay we'll have one more meet definitely idu vachana marathal edha eduthu ponu solittu avaru kuda pesumbo na record pannala na vandu okay casual ah da konjana da pesa porana nenche but adu one and a half talk pochu appo sonna se na pona onna na veetu pona na live pandra so that நான் இந்த பேசுற டாபிக் எனக்கு மைண்ட்ல இருந்து வெளியே வந்துச்சுன்னா எனக்கு ஒரு லாக்ஸா இருக்கும் இந்த கண்டென்ட் இன்னும் நிறைய பேர் யூஸ்ஃபுல்லா இருக்கும் அதுக்காக தான் இந்த லைவ் பண்ண தேங்க்யூ ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் எம் சி தமிழ் சென் சைனிங் ஆஃப் குட்